Hey there, it's Johnny from Product Marketing at Digital Ed. And right now, I want to take a moment to talk to you about Mobius Lessons. Now, when I talk about a Mobius Lesson, what exactly do I mean? Well, I define a Mobius Lesson to be a Mobius activity that consists of a collection of individual pieces of content. Now, this content can be things like text, questions, interactive narratives, math apps, and other resources and solutions that students can interact with. Now, these pieces of content that are compiled into pages that students interact with to understand specific learning objectives for their Mobius class. Now, where exactly have we seen Mobius lessons used in the classroom or outside the classroom? We've seen them used in place of lectures or textbooks themselves or even supplementary textbook materials. We've seen teachers convert their course notes to Mobius lessons, or basically any other supplementary learning material can be a Mobius lesson for your course. Now, when we talk about Mobius lessons, we really have to focus on something called active learning. Now, I say active learning is this idea that you learn by doing. Not only are you learning the concept, but you apply it in real time. So some features of Mobius lessons that satisfy this idea of active learning is unlimited in lesson practice. The idea that students within these lessons can try questions unlimited times and refresh them to try them again and again is a very powerful opportunity to really apply that concept during the learning process. But these questions can also be algorithmic. So what I mean is when they try the question multiple times over and over again, it's not the same question. It actually regenerates with different variables based on different conditions to give them a different version of the same question. And the feedback can also be algorithmic. So instead of getting some static feedback that just tells them to refer to a certain theory or concept they've learned, it can actually include the variables that they've seen in their question itself to explain in full, in detail, the solution to their question. And what's great is that the Mobius math engine can grade some very specific STEM question types inside of a Mobius lesson. But of course, you can't talk about a Mobius lesson without talking about rich multimedia and visualizations. This includes things like math apps, interactive narratives, videos you may have embedded or import into Mobius directly, or any other external content, such as GeoGebra applications. Now, there's even more to Mobius lessons we can talk about. Now, from a learning experience, for students specifically, math looks like math. That's what accurate and natural math notation means. As well, these Mobius lessons can be delivered right inside of your learning management system for a very seamless integration. But also, there are over 15 different STEM question types and subtypes you can choose from to really fine-tune the delivery and richness of the question types you give to your students. And the layout and the navigation through a lesson in Mobius is very simple and intuitive. Now, exactly what functionality do we have that makes teaching for instructors so unique and so impactful? Well, we have turnkey, high-quality teaching materials that are ready out of the box. Great material that you can use to get started with the platform. Not only that, but you have full customizable permissions to change whatever you want inside of your Mobius lessons. We also have the Mobius gradebook and analytics to give you insights to where students are succeeding or maybe not succeeding with Mobius lessons. And when it comes to delivering a Mobius lesson to your students through Mobius, we have all sorts of different policies you can change and adjust, you know, date restrictions, security features, and really tailoring the feedback for your students. So with that, let's move to Mobius itself to show some lessons in action. So here, I'm in my Mobius class, and as you can see, I have some material available here under Units. Now, with Mobius activities, they come in two flavors. There's Mobius Lessons, which I'm highlighting today, and there's also something called Mobius Assignments. If you want to learn about Mobius Assignment Delivery, we have all sorts of material on digitaled.com, as well as our support pages you can look at that really detail exactly what an assignment is and how they can be used for delivering formative and summative assessments. But for now, let me open up this Mobius lesson to showcase some of the capabilities we talked about in this slide presentation. So here I have a few different pages I'm going to navigate through on the left-hand side. I'm going to do so using the simple navigation buttons on the bottom to go to next pages or go back or to, you know, save and quit to continue later. 
So this first page of my lesson is on sample calculus content. Now notice on my screen I have a lot of text I can scroll through and view, but notice that we also have a header with blue background and some bigger text in other areas. We have introduction, some paragraphs, we have this animation I can of course push play on and it'll just play back on demand for me. I can also scroll down further and see we have math and important definitions in green boxes and um, I even have these pictures and diagrams that were made actually right inside of Mobius. I didn't have to go to some other tool, create them, export them, etc. These are made natively right inside of the Mobius platform. And as I'm going through here, this is actually, you know, what I see, I can actually modify whatever I want. I can change the text to the color, I can change the order of the objects on the screen, I can remove things, I can add things. As a Mobius instructor and content creator, you have full control to change whatever you want in a lesson and add whatever you want. So it's very flexible in delivery. Now down here, underneath the diagram, I do have this thing called an interactive narrative that I'll push play on right now for a few seconds. For some species of animals, a certain population density is required. I'll just mute that for now, but notice it plays back with audio on top of it, instructor who record themselves speaking. And if I scroll this bar just around here and let it play continually, it'll actually pause and engage with me as a student. So unlike traditional video files or even YouTube where you watch something and it just plays back, you can insert these things that we call you know, student checkpoints, where you actually encourage a student to re-engage with the platform. Maybe you want to ask them a Mobius question, maybe you want them to participate some other way. The point is you can insert as many of these checkpoints or pause points in the progress bar in order to re-engage with the student. Now below this is an interactive activity. I can of course adjust the sliders and notice on the right that'll you know, move around in real time. And this is great for really you know, applying the concepts that students are learning in the middle of the lesson. And of course, question delivery. So the first one here is a multiple choice question. I'm going to choose an answer and immediately I can check to get my feedback for the question. Great, I got it right. Here's a complete feedback. I can even try it again if I want to. And notice it'll give you again immediate feedback. Now of course we go beyond multiple choice questions. Below here is more of an open question uh, where I would type in you know a number or a formula or an expression. I can even switch to what's called the equation editor in Mobius. This is our symbolic tool. It helps students enter in their responses and the reason why it's so great is because it actually looks like math. So the way they would see math or even write by hand is how the math is expressed here in Mobius. Now going back and forth as a student, I can change to whatever mode I like. If I prefer the text entry versus that symbolic entry, I can use that instead. It's totally my choice. Now I want to focus on algorithmic question delivery on this algebra page. So scrolling down, I have another multiple choice question. You can see here it's asking me to find the correct prime factorization of a specific integer. And I can click what I believe the response to be. Um, in this case, I'll choose the top one and click how would I do? As you can see, I get it correct, and I can try it again now. But notice that it's changed. The integer changes every time I click try another to, to redo the question. This is what we mean by algorithmic questions. And what's great is this isn't just picking a, a you know, from a question bank of five. You know, it actually is following an algorithm with specific conditions in place to ensure that I get a proper question asked to me. So there is really limitless opportunity for asking questions in this particular case. And not only that, when I click how did I do, the feedback you receive, the solution, like I mentioned before, it actually has your variables in there. It's not just some static theory that you have to look at or referring to a past lesson page. It actually takes your algorithmic variables, we call them, within context in the solution you receive yourself. And of course, this goes beyond basic multiple choice. We also have the ability to deliver more free form, more open ended question delivery. In this case, it's the same question, but I have to type in my response. As you can see again, when I click try another, notice the question is changing. So I'm not just being asked the same question over and over again. And of course, when I click how did I do, fully works solution with my variables. Now, of course, we don't expect you to be starting from scratch with Mobius. We, we expect that you already have some level of existing materials that you use in your classroom, especially interactive components from other sources. Maybe it's GeoGebra, maybe it's something else. But in this case, we actually have a GeoGebra application here on my screen. So within this lesson, 
we brought in a GeoGebra application. As you can see, I can even move it around, I can interact with it, you know, I can try you know, different things to understand exactly the angles of a triangle. But what's happened is I've added in Mobius components around it. I have a question here that asks something about it. I have, you know, a, a, a numeric question here asking about certain degrees. I have Mobius, you know, text and theories and definitions above it. We've taken our existing content from GeoGebra and essentially, you know, used Mobius to power it up to make it more engaging and more of an opportunity for active learning for your students. So with that, that's all I want to cover today with Mobius Lessons. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us at digital.com to discuss in more detail.